So the question related to features and functionality that I'd look for in, in the selection of a tablet, and, and I'd actually like to maybe back up uh, a little bit relative to that question and really first address uh, how the device is going to be used. And I think that's a, a, a critical first step uh, is to determine the, the roles in the company that are going to use this as well as as exactly what the expectations are for uh, for the individual. And, uh, you know, we kind of classified this as consumption of information versus creation. The, uh, the account managers, for instance, are outside salespeople who are on the road. A good majority of them fall into the consumption of information as they're out um, from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock calling on customers. They are, for the most part, consuming the information that is available to them on a tablet device, be that from our business system, our reporting solutions, our CRM solutions. Creation, I'll use maybe as our, uh, our technical engineers that we have that are supporting our sales force. They, uh, they absolutely are in the creation mode. They are analyzing large spreadsheets. They are creating PowerPoints uh, for demonstrations. They're working with some high-level software. So, you know, the, the consumption and creation is really where we draw the line between a, a tablet device, which we think is well-designed for consumption, uh, and, and a traditional laptop, which is uh, better designed for creation. Uh, the other, you know, key point to discuss on on features and functionality really deal with with whether or not this is going to be a single device, a single computing device for the individual. If they're only going to have one device, uh, or if they're possibly going to have a tablet device as well as a a laptop device. Um, the other consideration is is connectivity to the internet. Uh, whether it's wireless only or whether it's cellular. And, uh, and there are a, a limited number of laptops that have built-in cellular capability, uh, and certainly there are a, a host of tablets that have cellular capability, but some that don't. So I think there's a couple of areas that, that you need to focus on. One is battery life. And this goes to how long the device is going to be used throughout the day. So, for instance, for an account manager who will be using this device from likely 8 to 5 um, during business hours, then you need an 8, 9, 10-hour battery life for, uh, for that unit to be workable for the outside salesperson. Another consideration is storage. Uh, you have local storage on, on most of the devices. You also have uh, cloud storage that's available. And you may have your own internal uh, networks uh, or storage capacity inside of, uh, of each of your companies. And then the, the applications or the apps that are available for the, the tablet that you select. Uh, there are often times where uh, Microsoft Office products are going to be something that needs to be, if not created, at the very least viewed. Uh, so things like Excel spreadsheets, Word documents for quotes, and, uh, and so on. So if that's a requirement, there's a host of apps that you may need to buy to, uh, to put on the device or uh, you may look for a Windows type device. So as far as lessons learned, I think it comes down to expectations. What the salesperson's expectations of how they're going to use a computing device uh, or management's expectations of how they expect a salesperson to, to operate their day and the tools that, that they're supposed to use. And I think a, a pilot is, uh, is a great idea, a pilot not only for the, the devices that might be used or considered, but also for, you know, again, the expectations of the functions that an outside salesperson uh, will perform.